Grade 4 Math, number 52, Intro to Fractions. Now, I know some of you have already been introduced to fractions, but I want to go over them really quick because we're going to be working a lot with them. So, this is one half. That's half of something. The top number is the numerator, and it tells us how many parts we have of the whole thing. The bottom number is the denominator, and it tells us how many parts the whole thing was split into. Okay? Big difference. So now look at this cookie. This cookie got split in half so that two people could share it. When we share a cookie with one other person, we break it into two pieces so we each get an equal piece. We break it in half. This half plus this half equals one whole. It was one whole cookie and we broke it into two halves. The size of the pieces have to be equal or it's not half. You wouldn't want that piece, would you? No, this isn't equal. It wasn't split in half. So remember, the top number is how many pieces each got. The bottom number is how many pieces it was broken into. So if you got half, you got one of the two pieces. You got one of the two pieces, you got half, okay? Now let's look at these boxes. This is half of the rectangle. See, here's the whole rectangle. We put a line down the middle and cut it in half, and we colored orange into half of the rectangle. We did the same thing for this rectangle. If we put these two halves together, we'd have one whole rectangle. See, it would be the same thing as if we had colored this part orange. It would, we would have ended up coloring the whole rectangle. So two halves are equal to one whole. All right, now look at this. We cut this rectangle into three parts and we colored one part pink. We did the same for this one and this one. So this is one of three. The three is how many parts it was split into and the one is how many parts got colored in. See, one third. If we had one third three times, it would be the same thing as filling in all three of these boxes. See? We'd have one whole. See? Now look at this one. Same thing with one fourth. If we only fill in one of the four boxes, but we do it four times, it's the same thing as filling in four in one of the boxes, see? It's one whole. One-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth is equal to one whole. We'd have it split into four pieces, but then we would have all four of the pieces because one plus one plus one plus one is equal to four. All right? So now let's take a look at this. Well, let's look at this first. We have a pentagon and it's split into five pieces. See? One, two, three, four, five. Two of them are green, so it's split into five pieces and two of them are green, so it's two-fifths are green. See that? Here we have a circle that's split into three pieces. One, two, three. It's split into three pieces, so the denominator is a three and two of the pieces are colored red, so the numerator is two. Two-thirds of the circle is red. Okay, now we can look at the yellow one. We're going to compare these two fractions. The top one was split into six pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. We colored in five of the six pieces. It was cut into six pieces. Five of them were colored yellow. Five six of them are colored yellow. The bottom one is supposed to be the same size, so pardon my drawing, but it was only split into three pieces, and two of the pieces were colored yellow. So which is more, five six or two thirds? See how far the five six comes out? It comes out to here. So five six is more than two thirds. And if you look, 
these lines kind of li line up, don't they? See that? 2 6 is the same as 1 of the thirds, isn't it? 1 2 1. Look at that. Equivalent fractions. We're going to be talking about that. Now look at this. Let's say there are two green pieces of candy. This one got cut in half. This one is cut in thirds. Which one's more? The half is bigger. And look, the bottom number is smaller, but it's more. That's because it was only split into two parts, and you've got one of them. This one was split into three parts, so the parts are smaller. The bigger it's the number that it's split into, the smaller the parts are going to get. See? This candy was split into five pieces, and only one of them was given to you. This candy was split into three pieces, and one of, the, and one of them was given to you. You got more candy here than here. Because this one was split into more parts, each part was smaller. Because this one was split into less parts, each part was bigger. If I gave you half a pie, it would be a lot more pie than if I only gave you an eighth of, of a pie, right? So, the top number is the numerator, the bottom number is the denominator, and remember that the bigger the denominator, the bottom number gets, the more parts it's split into. And each part gets smaller, okay? That's the one thing I want you to remember from this lesson. Aside from the numerator and denominator names, I want you to remember that the bigger the denominator gets, the more parts the thing was split into, and the parts get smaller because there's more of them, okay? I'll see you next video. We're going to talk more about fractions. I'll see you there.